Aman Shukru. Okay, thank you. I'm and sorry. It, Melissa McLeod. It means I know God. Amen. Tonight I'm filled with righteous indignation for many reasons, but with only three minutes I can only share a little bit with you. To hear that a young girl was demonized because of her faith is a tragedy towards our republic. The truth is there is an attack on Christianity in this culture. If that young girl was a Muslim student, that wouldn't have happened. But because her parents have trained her up in the way that she should go, a teacher who claims to be atheist demean her for her belief system. And I want to tell you tonight that that is awful. It's the lowest of the lowest that we can ever imagine that we can go to. You know, there was a time where the Bible was permitted into the public school system. And how did our children perform then? How was the hearts of our children in society when the Bible was allowed to get into the school system? Well, we didn't have as many school shootings as we have now. Our children performed better. And we didn't have many of the tragic uh, ideologies being pushed upon our children like transgenderism, Amen. grooming, critical race theory, and what this county calls racial consciousness. Amen. You know, our teachers were trained for two weeks on a pseudo format of critical race theory. Critical race theory will never solve racism because critical race theory is racism. <laughs> is that the individual, not a group, must come to the realization that they should love their neighbor as themselves. <laughs> you know, I'm against white supremacy, and I'm against black supremacy, but I'm for God supremacy. <laughs> and the Bible says that let God be true in every man, every human being, a liar. And to make black students feel like they are inferior because of, of the color of their skin is an affront to the very fact that I have three beautiful black children. Two boys and a girl. And I don't teach them that they're inferior to anybody, especially someone that doesn't look like them. I train them that they can realize the American dream if they work hard. If they invest their time into things that matter. But it's a shame before God that these institutions today in America are teaching black children otherwise as we are failing in the public school system. This must change, this must stop, and it will not happen on my watch. 